Hi everyone, happy Thursday. It's time for another crafty hour with Jenny's Card Creations. I am Jenny, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Melbourne in Australia. And it's hot today. It is a good 38 degrees. So very hot in this room, can I tell you. So um, yes, I'm not sure how long I'm going to last in here, but we'll see. Hopefully we'll, we'll last um, a fair while in here anyway. Anyway, hello to you all on replay. I really appreciate you popping on and it, let me know where you are. Um, I love to, um, you know, I get always amazed by the connections um, Stampin' Up! bring and, and doing Facebook Live. So I'd love to know where you all are. Let me know. That would be fantastic. Um, thumbs up or a heart would be awesome as well. Now, let me find myself on here while um, a few of you pop on. I'm sure you probably got the notification by now. So let me just have a look in here on this iPad. Let's have a look here. What have you all been up to? Is it hot where you are? Oh, I'm going to have to turn myself down. There we go. Found myself. <laughs> okay. All right. So what have you all been up to? What have I been doing? I've been doing an awful lot of stamping up this week, um, which I normally do. I'm full time doing this job. Um, well, it's not a job, can I just say. It's my passion, which I don't find it as a job. So it's a lot, lots and lots of fun. So I have been doing... Oh, I've got cat hair on me, sorry. I've been cuddling the cat just before. <laughs> He's got hair on me. <laughs> so that molting season time. Um, what have I been doing? I have been prepping for card and kappa. So that is coming around again. So all kits will be heading out to... Um, all the participants next week. So if you would like to join us, we would love to have you. So what it is, I do Card and Kappa online on Zoom at 10 o'clock on a Monday, every Monday. And then on a private Facebook page um, on a Tuesday night. And we have so much fun and it's like a rural family community. It's just great. So what it is, I make up for kids and I send them out to you all at once. And we do one of those kits each week. And yeah, it's a lot of fun and I'm loving what everyone has been coming up with because I get a lot of um, different, you know, it's different ideas from everyone and what they've come up with. And it's a, so much fun. Um, yeah, so I absolutely love it. It's um, one of my highlights and a great way to start the week too, can I tell you. So that is $45. So if you'd like to join us, come and try it out for a month and see how you go. The uh, one thing is if you, say, miss a week or something like that, it's okay. You've got replay on there. So you've got access to go back over and um, do it in your own time. I've got people on, especially the Tuesday nights, um, they come on just to chat. And then they um, do it in their own time, which is a lot, you know, there's all sorts of ways you can, to, can do card and cuppa. So the thing is we're all communicating and we're all having fun and crafting. So that's the whole idea, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, let me know. Um, message me if you'd like to come and join the crew. It'd be fantastic. Okay, so I've got a few of you popping on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move my... I've got my glass mat down here. So I'm just going to move my ring light so it doesn't get in your way. Let's get started because I think I've got a fair bit going on tonight. Okay, so let, let's go. Okay. All right, so there is my host code for February. Oh, that's all slanty, isn't it? For February, and there we go. Lined it up. That's better, isn't it? Uh, okay, so please quote this so I can send you a thank you gift at the end of the month. Also, if you spend over $75... I'm in the Crafty Collaborations group, and what it is, um, it's demonstrators from all around the world. We all combine together, and um, I'm going to put that down there for a minute so you can't see that ring light. Um, and what we do is um, we share each month um, different ideas, and then when you spend over 75, I send them on to you. So this month is 50 of us that participated. So you will get also... All the PDFs of those 50 people 
um, and that'll be sent to you as well automatically once um, you you let me know. But I need to know the the quote the code here, otherwise I wouldn't have a clue <laughs> who to send it to. Okay, so um, yeah, and also obviously I give you a gift as well, my little thank you gift as well. So um, yeah, and I'm also in another one as well which is 15 of us around the world and it's more for avid this is more for simple stamping the crafty collaborations but it gives you great ideas for um designs and things like that layouts um and the other one is more for ideas with avid so we've got different ideas for simple stamping or for people that are avid anyway that is coming down the track as well. So that's in the process. I've handed my project in, so hopefully it's not too far away. Anyway, I'm waffling, so let's get started. Hello, Kim. I think I saw you there. Hello. Let me have a look here. Who's on? Glenda, hello. Hello there. How are you going? And Pat, hello. Karen and Joan and Renee, my Queenslanders are on. Hello. I hope you're all going okay with the humidity up there. Hello, Helen, and hello, Esther. Great chatting with you today, Esther. Um, yeah, but like I said, it's 38 degrees here, and it's very hot in this room, so <laughs> bear with me if I'm, yeah, a bit flustered because um, I've had to shut the door because my son has the TV on in the other room, so the aircon's not flowing in here. Okay, so tonight... I thought we'd go to cutesy tonight, everyone. It's been on my list to do this for a while so i have to do the cows tonight tonight's the night hi julie hello angela how you going i have to do cutesy tonight um these cows just spoke to me right from the word go so i've had them in my little stash for quite a while um but i'm doing a little fun fold with it today as well i'm combining them both um because i'm sure you've seen people out there playing with this doing cards um, so I want to do something a little bit different to that. So nothing like we did last week. <laughs> so this is going to be a lot of fun tonight. Well, I certainly had fun making this and I'm hoping you will too when you make it, um, whether it's with the cows or with something else. Anyway, the cutest cows, this is it here. It's a bundle, comes with a punch. So you can actually make up a cow, as you can see here in the punch. I'm not going to do that tonight, but you've got all your little pieces here to make up this little guy. How cute is he? So, um, and also it will punch out. I'm showing you the stamp set here. It will punch out this little guy. No, this little guy here. Oh, no, it's this way. <laughs> it's around the wrong way. It's going to punch out this little guy here and their faces. Okay? So, but like I said, we're, we aren't going to be using... This, well, we will be. I'll punch it out with that, but I'm going to be actually um, stamping other cows with it as well. Okay, I love the sayings on here. You told my husband not to call me. Are you all there? <laughs> I told my, I just rang him before and I said, don't call me during my live. And guess what? He just called me just then. So sorry. I presume you, I'm hoping you're all back on now. Hello, Jen. You've got this set. It's so cute, these cows. I love them. This is special to me simply because my grandfather had a dairy farm. And this really spoke to me because it just brought back wonderful memories of going weekends up to uh, Bessie Bell um, and helping my grandfather milk his cows. So not that I don't think I was that much help milking the cows. <laughs> but I thought I was helping. <laughs> anyway, so this really spoke to me. So with this one here, we are going to combine this. Oh, by the way, uh, the cow bundle is seventy-two seventy-five. Okay. All right. So with this one here, we are going to do a celebration. Now, tonight's the last night, guys, for me showing you celebration because by the time I go back to live next week, next Thursday, celebration is finished. So I just want to let you know if there's something in here or in the extra... Um, online exclusives that has been posted get on board everyone I'm going to show you one of them I have got which is fantastic this if you spend over 180 you will get if you nominate it you'll get all the new in colors not the in colors all the new colors of the stamp and write markers these are fantastic and these are worth $67 so 
that is a good deal. So you can nominate for that one, but it's only going to be free until the 29th of Feb. That's my wedding anniversary too, guys, by the way. <laughs> That's how it's, yeah, there you go. Long story there. It wasn't by choice. I got married on that day. <laughs> anyway, don't miss out, everyone. All right, so tonight, I had it. Where did I have it? I've done the tools. We're doing this one. I'm going to be using these papers here. They are called Sunny Days, and that sure is a sunny day here. I tell you, it's very hot. Okay, now I've hacked into this a lot, so I'm sorry. Uh, my papers are all over the shot. But I'm just going to grab out, if I can, what they look like. I'm going to be playing with this one or crafting with this one tonight. We've got like a field of flowers, and on the other side we've got the rainbows. So those of you who have got the old rainbow stamp set, perfect with this one. Real, absolutely perfect. Okay, I'm just going to put them out of the way because I do have these um, in here. You've got clouds. Cut these out and you can have these awesome clouds on your pack. Anyone who has rainy days stamp set, the little bunny, the tortoise or the turtle, perfect for this perfect for this side as well so you've got the choice of raindrops and clouds isn't this great i reckon it's such a happy little set uh, as you can see i've cut into this as well we've got flowers and on the other side we've got sun it's really such a cheerful cheerful set there we go we've got a little bit of i suppose you'd call it played and on the other side, we have got flowers. For so those of you who love flowers, and I know there's a few of you out there that do. And then we've got cherries. Who has got the cherry stamp set? It got carried over into the annual catalogue for the second year. Perfect with this. Or if you've got the, the fruit one, the fruit one that came out in the annual catalogue that has the hybrid embossing folder. Perfect. And then we just got our plane on the other side in pool party. And what else have we got? Strawberries. Isn't this pretty? It's so bright and cheerful. I love bright colours. Probably that's why it's speaking to me. And we've got butterflies on the other side. And I think that's it. it yep, that's it. So this is in the $90 bracket. So if you choose um, this you need to spend $90 in sales and then I'll nominate this one and it can be yours for free so don't forget as of 29 as of end of February or the 29th of February freebies are finished for another year anyway so like I said I am going to be using the flowery one I think I just did I cut that out? I think I did everything. There was going to be a fair bit going on tonight. So did I cut that out? I did. Okay. So I'm going to show you what we're going to make. And I'm just going to do exactly the same. So as I said to you before, I'm doing a fun fold. So we're going to do cows in a box. There we go. What do you think of these little guys? Aren't they cute? Love it. <laughs> I was going to make a card today and I thought, you know what, this is speaking me to do a box. So that's what we are going to do. It folds up like this. It's a long box. The ones we usually do is a short one, uh, but we need to have the three cows on here. Guys, come on, they're cute. And um, they just fold up and they go into a normal C6 envelope. How cute are they, hey? So that's what we're making. So... Let's get started and I'll show you how to do it. I'm going to read out the measurements as I go. So you will be able to recreate this. Ah, no, aren't they cute? How could you resist these cows? Because seriously, I can't. They're just so cute. They were just talking at me all day today. Okay, this is a full size. Oh, Helen, I love that. Moveless. <laughs> You crack me up. That is so, so funny. Oh my goodness, I've missed a heap of comments here. Hello, Joan. Keep slow, keep losing your voice. Oh, sorry. I got very excited about my cows, Joan. <laughs> Jen, you were on a farm too for 52 years. My goodness. You grew up on a farm too, Esther. Oh, wow. I've got some country 
people on here as well. Uh, hi, Renee. I think I said hello to you before, didn't I? Yes, aren't they beautiful? Hi, Mum, and hello, Colleen. Um, they're just so cute. Anyway, let's make the box, and then what we're going to do is we're going to um, do the cows. I have cut some out, but I'm going to show you how I coloured them, and also the little dairy can, um, how I've masked it to make it three. Doesn't he look cute? He looks very proud of himself producing three cans of milk there. <laughs> well, that's my what I think anyway. This is a full-size A4 paper. Now, all I've done here is I have cut it in ten and a half. So this is the normal size you'd be doing um, with this. Now, with this one here, you will get two sheets of your A4. So you'll get two boxes out of this. Very economical. So two sheets, two boxes out of this one. So what we're going to do is we are going to score. So having said that, I'm just going to tell you right from the start. So we've got 29.7, which is our full A4 paper. For those of you who are overseas, we work in A4. So that is the measurements there. So 29.7, and then we're going by 10.5, which is this one here. This one was left over from this one. So, Cindy, hello, my friend. How are you going? You're in Queensland too. I hope it's not too hot up there for you. Um, okay, so we're going to be doing our scoring now. So, this is in centimetres. So, it's four centimetres. It's too hot to convert into inches, guys. I'm sorry. It's very hot in this room. So, I don't have the brain for it at the moment. <laughs> sorry about that. So for all you inches, people, so we're going to four centimetres and then we're going to 14 centimetres and then we're going to 18 centimetres and then 28 centimetres. And then we are turning this and we are scoring at 5.5. That is it. Isn't that simple? Get out of here. I don't want you cut. That's it, guys. Simple. Okay. So, with this one here, you will find you will have a slightly bigger one, this side, and a slightly smaller side on that one. It doesn't really look it, but it it, it is. So, what I'm gonna now going to do is I'm going to cut the smaller size because this big size is going to be my box area. I'm not very good at cutting everyone, so uh, you want? Are you are you are you stamping with me, Ange? Of course I will. Okay, so we've got twenty nine point seven, which is your A four, and then we are going to ten and a half that way. Okay, and then we are going to score at four, fourteen, eighteen, and twenty eight centimeters. Okay, and then we're going on the small side and we are scoring at 5.5 centimetres. Okay, yell out, okay, if you need me to do those again. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to put our box together. Oh, actually, that's what I was going to do. I'm not very good at cutting, so you can always cut with your scissors. I'm hopeless at that, everyone. I, I'm not very good at that. So I'm just going to pop that back in here. And what I'm going to do is actually fold these so I can fill the crease. Let's see. I cut it with the scissors last time. It was okay, but I'm going to try it this way. If I can do it this way. There we go. I've locked that in that little crease here. And what I'm going to do is I'm bringing down my trimmer. And I'm just going to cut down. There we go. Spot on. Look at that. Can't complain about that not being straight. And I'm doing all the rest of these creases here. Okay. All right. I'm just full. I'm going to try and see if I can get. It's locked in. Just fold this a little bit more. Now, if I was cutting it, I probably would have had it cut by now, but it wouldn't have been straight. All right, there we go. I'm doing the same thing again. I'm just going to go up. You have got this little line here. 
I'm going to show you that. This little line, and that will line that up to where you want it to go and then cut it. So that way I know I'm not going to go over this crease here. All right, let's go again. There we go, that's locked in. And then I'm just going to do the same again. And then this one. This one might be a little interesting. It's right on the edge. No, there we go, it's locked in. And then having trouble seeing this one, but let's see how we go. Yep, perfect. All right. Okay. I am cutting the short side. So the long side is going to be our box. Okay. Oh, I'd love to know what you're going to be doing with your box, Angela. I really would love to know. Okay. This little guy we don't need anymore. So we're going to cut him off. I'm not going to use the trimmer for that one. I think I can survive with that because you're not actually going to see this section here. Hey, Donna. How are you going? Thanks for popping on. Okay. So let's just get these creases all good this way. I'm making a box card with the cows tonight, Donna. Do you want to have a look? This is what we're making. Isn't he cute? <laughs> oh, he's so cute. So that's what we're making. Okay. All right. So we are just going to turn this over like that. And this will flip over like that so there's our little tab and we're just going to pop glue on this you can use tear and tab if you like i'm going to use our glue here and hopefully i won't be too bad tonight it was really bad on tuesday night when i did card and carpet it was so oozy because it was so hot in here anyway i'm folding this over so we're creating our box Okay, I'm just going to pop that there over here like this with our bone folder. Only simply because it's quite warm in here and it might take a little bit to dry than what it normally would. Okay, there is our box. So, pick which side you want. I prefer having this towards the edge, the back section here, because uh, that, and then that bit here will be my back section okay all right so that's what it's going to be like that how's yours going Ange? Is yours looking like this i think i need a little bit more glue here didn't spread enough so i'm a bit paranoid doing this because it's yeah i thought it'd be a bit juicy it's going to ooze out now there we go all right, I'm just going to fold down these areas where I've cut. Looks like it's about time I need to change my blade again. I only changed it two weeks ago. That's how much I have been working on stamping up. <laughs> it usually doesn't take two weeks to change a blade. Okay, all right. Now, we've done that. Next, we're getting another piece of cardstock. This time... We are going to cut this 12 centimetres, okay, by 2 centimetres. This is going to be our little ledges going inside the box, okay? All right, so before I cut that, though, will I do it now or do it later? I'm actually going to cut this by 4 centimetres, so I'm going to go 12 centimetres by 4 centimetres, all right, I'm cutting that. And then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do my scoring. So I'm going to go one centimetre and 11 centimetres. I just think this is the quickest and easiest way to do. So we've got that. And then I'm going to cut that in half. So it'll be cut at one, two centimetres, beg my pardon. Here we go. It's just the quickest option. So it is 12 centimetres by 2 centimetres. I just did 12 by 4 and then cut it in half. Okay. All right. 
So we are just going to fold these. Now this is where it's going to get a little fiddly tonight because of the hot weather in here. So when it gets hot like this, I actually like using glue stick um, because it's not as wet as this when we're doing the inside of our box. So having said that, let's give it a go and see how it is tonight. Okay, where's my mat? I'm just going to pop that up here. Right, I'm just going to pop glue stick on here. Use your wet if you want to. Use tear and tape if you want to or seal. Something that is a bit, is really strong. I'm finding this glue stick is quite strong. But for tonight, because it's so warm in here, that's why I'm using it in this instead of my wet glue. All right, I'm just going to hold it. I've got it in place where I want it. I'm just going to hold it and I've just popped it towards the back, making sure it's nice and straight. And then I'm just going to pop the other one on as well. Oh gosh, I've got cat hair everywhere, haven't I? <laughs> I don't think he's in here at the moment. Oh yeah, there he is. He's, he's lying down, bearing all. He's hot. You'd think you'd go and wear it's air conditioned, wouldn't you? <laughs> I'm not going to show him because he's too rude. <laughs> All right, so there we go. That is sticking. So what I like to do then is to fold it down like this and then the other side. All right, so we've got one in. Okay, we're going to do the same again for the next one and I'm just going to pop it just beside it like that. Okay. All right, so again, glue stick, just a normal glue stick from the... Um, Use supermarket. I think I got this from the supermarket. I've had this for ages because I usually you only use it when I'm making boxes. When I was doing Mother's Day stall stands, when I was at the market, um, it um, it was very handy. So I could make them done, get them done a lot quicker than I did with the wet glue. Okay. All right. So we're just holding that down. Fulber wants to be his with his mama. <laughs> I don't know about that. He just wants attention, doesn't he? <laughs> okay. And then we're just going to fold that in like that. I find the last one a little bit fiddly. Anyway, there we go. We're going okay. It's behaving itself tonight, so that's good. So, yeah, just a little tip. Use glue stick when you're popping these in. I just find them so much easier. Okay, I'm just gonna pop that a little bit forward. Well, look, it's sticking already. It's just so good. And I'm just gonna pop that down like that. There we go. All right, I think we're done. Here we go, all right. All right, let's put our designer series paper on. So I'm gonna use the flowers, which I showed you before. Okay, so what was that one for? Can't remember. Oh, that's right. I was going to put that there like that. Yep. Yeah, I'm not going to do that tonight though. All right, so this one here is going to go on here. Now, the measurements for this one for the designer series paper is nine and a half centimeters by four and a half. You'll need one of these. Okay, and then for our side flaps. They are four and a half centimetres by three and a half centimetres. Okay, now for those of you who want to put designer series at the back, you can, but I'm not going to do that. I've actually cut it. Um, I don't even know what that's there for. Anyway, I'm put doing white, which is this one here, and we're going to be stamping on this. So I'm doing two basic whites. One is going on the back where people can write on it. And the other one is to go on the front. And that is 10 centimetres by nine and a half centimetres. Okay, so Angela, if you want that, just yell out again. If you want those measurements again. Okay, so let's just pop that on our box. I just find it easier popping the designer series paper on this way than doing it the other way. Um, 
simply because in case I got the box wrong, as in the line of the box, okay? All right, and we're just gonna pop that on. That way you can't go wrong. Okay, and then we're just doing the other side. Okay, we've got that done. All right. Okay, so we're going to put this on the back. And that will hold this up and make it sturdy for us. All right, there we go. So that's not gonna bend now, so it's gonna be nice and sturdy. All right, so you could really make this interesting one. I know they're flaps over like this, but when you're actually folding it down, sometimes you can actually see the base. So it's up to you if you wanna blend your base down. I'm gonna do that just for the hell of it. I've decided to, I didn't do it for the other one. You could do stamping in there as well if you wanted to. Um, actually, let's try this. Let's get the, the daisy. I'm off the cup here because I have we decided to do this before. But we could put daisies around here and do a bit of blending of it. Let's see if this works. All right, let's have a go. Okay, so we're just going to go. I might just pop it down here like this so it's not going to go too far up. Look at that. I should have done this. That's better. I wonder if I could line this up. I don't think I will. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to be popping um, blending on this. Now, it would be a lot easier doing this before we actually put the box together. This was just an afterthought on my part. All right. I'm now going to use shaded spruce. That's I stamped in shaded spruce. And all I'm doing now is just popping a little bit of blending over it. Again, I'm not too phased about that. No one's really going to see this. It's just the presentation. It just looks really more professional, if you know what I mean. Okay, and then we're just going to go over this side. Don't forget everyone, if you want the glass mat, Saturday, or not Saturday, the end of the month, I don't even know when the end of the month is, I know it's next week before I go live, um, it will be the last time it will be offered for free um, when you sign up. Okay, I didn't even get my sponge wet, so I'm just going to use this other sponge. There we go. So there you go, that makes it a little bit more interesting, doesn't it? Okay, all right. Even though you're not really gonna see it, but hey, we know it's there. All right, let's do the background. We're gonna do a bit of stamping here. Again, we're going to do these guys here. In fact, I need to get rid of shaded spruce because I don't want that, I want that in black. And let's get some scrap. I'm going to show you how I did the background. Okay, so all I'm doing is, this is 10 centimetres, so I'm just trying to think. If I do 10 centimetres across here, that'll let me know how far to go. So no, it was nine and a half, wasn't it? It was nine and a half. Let's have a look. Nine and a half. Yep. Okay. So let's stamp this. We're going to put some flowers at the back, the sunflowers. 
And let me have a look here. I'm just going to see how high up I went with those. Like that. Okay. So we're just going to go and stamp these across. All right. So we've got them up. And then we're just going to color them. And then I'm just going to cut the top section of this. All right, so I'm going to be using shaded spruce for the leaves and also crumb cake for the middle section, dark and light. Okay, all right, so we've got this. Now, before I colour again, let's do some more stamping. I'm going to show you how I did the cow and also masking our little dairy can. So what I did with the dairy can is I cut it out with post-it note. Make sure the sticky bit's on here. I cut it out. So you can see I've been using this a bit. And I'm just going to grab the dairy can. Let's grab another. There we go. Again, a memento. And we're just popping it down there like that. Then we're just going to cover it up. I'm sure a lot of you know how to do this, but there are some out there I know that are new demos. So are not new demos, new to Stampin' Up! And this craft. So this is for you. So we're just going to stamp over it. Okay. So when I take that off, it looks like it's behind. Can you see that? All right. So this is going to remain in my little cow thing. So then I, I don't have to um, keep cutting out sticky notes. This is going to be very handy. All right. So having said that, I'm just going to do one of these. And I'm also going to color in the sunflowers. Okay. And then... Yeah, it's, it, like I said, it's so easy, these techniques. Oh, hello, Jalissa. How are you going? Um, okay, so let's just colour this in. I'm not going to colour all of them, okay? Um, I'm just going to colour the, the front one because I've already done it. I did my homework. But I just wanted you to see how to get that shiny look, the shiny, um, the Billy Cam being nice and shiny. Oh, my words are all over the shop tonight. It's the heat. I'm going really well. I'm nice and hot in here. How are you going? It's very hot and sticky in this room. <laughs> uh, I might just go down here a little bit. Okay, so you just keep going over that until you're happy um, how much light you've got in the middle so again I'm using light and dark crumb cake now the reason I'm going back over again in the dark is because you must always keep it wet so when I put the light back on over the dark it sort of you can see it sort of disappears so that's why I always like doing two layers just be very careful when you do that though because um, it can bleed okay and then another reason you have to do that too is because we don't want a line when you are blending. So hint always, always, always make sure your blending is wet. That's why I'm not colouring it all in at once. And especially on a night like tonight, uh, everything's drying very quickly. All right. Okay. So we've got our little billy can. Well, it's a milk thingy, isn't it? And then all I'm doing now is grabbing our smoky slate dark and light and doing the same thing again on the top of our lid and then the side just because I'm, I'm just assuming they're silver bits. They're going to be silver for me anyway. And then just going it over with our light like that. Okay. And that is what it looks like. All right, so 
very, very simple to get that light um, and dark. Now I could go back over that again because my blends are drying very quickly and fix that up a little bit more, but you can sort of get the gist of the idea. So I'm just showing you these ones there. That's what I've done. Okay, so that's what they look like. So from a distance, it looks like, well, I'm hoping it looks like the sun's shining down on it. All right. Okay, let's put that aside. Um, now, the cow is pretty basic. All I have done with the cow, I've stamped them and I've just coloured the spots in. I've done no blending, everyone. Cream can, thank you. Cream <laughs> can, I always get that name wrong. And I've done it in light black, which is this one here. I didn't do it in the dark. I just did it in the light. Okay. Um, yeah. And I just coloured it like that. No blending, none at all. All right. So, all right, I'm not going to cut them out because I've already done it. So let's do our sun leaves, our sunflowers. All right, so I'm just going to do a little bit of dark in shaded spruce. Hey, Trude, how are you going? You guys hot over there in Adelaide? It's very interesting to see what the weather's going to be like tonight. We had a storm earlier before, so I was a bit worried that um, I may not be able to do a live, but it passed, thank goodness, about half an hour before I went live. So I was relieved by that. <laughs> I'm trying to be really quick here, so I'm missing a few little spots. You hear, you got the thunder? Well, don't bring it over here, Julie. I don't want it. We've already had it. I don't want any more. My husband's gone to Ballarat and um, dropping things off at Corral Castle. I think they're doing a big gig there, outdoor gig there. And I know there's lots of fires around that area which is really sad. A lot of people have lost their houses. So really, really sad. Feel for all those people. Okay. Sorry, I sort of, when I'm coloring, I forget to talk. <laughs> is anyone else like that? It's not concentration, it's just, oh, I suppose it is concentration, but I do. I just forget to talk because I just find colouring so relaxing. It's my favourite thing to do, especially with alcohol blends. They make life so much easier for you. I <laughs> know, shock horror, Jane. How are you going? How's your break going? I love where your campsite is tonight. Gosh, it looks a great spot. I know, you wouldn't believe it. I used to be a shy thing. A lot of people find that hard to believe. But it's amazing when I had to work for a stay order, I had to do public speaking. <laughs> it certainly brings you out of your shell. <laughs> mm. All right, so I should have just done them all and just showed done one, shouldn't I? And then done it, cut it out that way. Okay, so we've done that. I'm just going to do a little bit up here. Okay, let's do the sunflowers. All right. Again, they're too small to do any blending and we're not going to do blending tonight with those. It's too small, so... I'm just going to do Dark Daffodil Delight. Hey, Lucia. Great, I love chatting with you today. Thank you. It was so good. It was really great. Um, I don't know about you. Do you guys talk to people when you're crafting? Hey, Kim, we're going to have to have another crafty session. Um, I was talking to... A lady in Canada for two and a half hours. <laughs> two and a half 
birthday. I was a real messenger, so it didn't cost us anything. But gee, it was great. We're just chatting away. It was night time for her and it was afternoon for me. And um, gosh, it was good. So isn't it great how we can just do that? Not worry about, you know, the cost and we can just yak and yak and yak. <laughs> so, so she was crafting while I was crafting and we had a blast. It was so good. And she's rugged up. It's snow over there. So it's just hard to comprehend when it's such a hot day here today. And she's rugged up and she showed me outside and it was snow everywhere. It would look beautiful, but oh gosh, no thank you. Too cold. All right, so now I'm just going to do the middle bits. I'm just, look, they're usually like a real dark brown, but I'm just, I've got crumb cake here. I might as well just use it. So let's just get the crumb cake going. I'm just going to go all around like that. I'm not even going to bother going back over and blending. Pecan pie would be nice in this color, but I'm being lazy because crumb cake was right beside me. So I'm just putting the dark in the middle and then I'll just blend over it and it'll go a little bit darker. And then we'll blend on the bottom And then we'll cut it out. I'm only going to cut the top end. I'm not going to cut the whole thing. Okay, so they've got light middles. All right. We're grabbing our shaded spruce again. Gosh, it's a color I never use, and I've been using it a lot lately, especially Christmas time. I miss my evening evergreen, so this was my next go-to. All right, I'm just using the glass mat now just to rinse off a lot of color. And all I'm doing is just going over like that to make it look like we've got grass. Okay, and then we've got to make some clouds. So... What I did was I cut out some clouds. Where's my, I used the stylish shape dies. Uh, not stylish, basic border dies. These are fantastic. So I have used this little guy here to make my clouds. And it cuts like this. Isn't this cool? I use this a lot and I'm just going to make some clouds with this just on the top section of this other piece we have. Now I'm going to use pool party for that one. Okay, I won't need that many for this. But we'll just pop this over like that. Doesn't look like I've done much there, but you will see. No, we're not. Okay, I might need to. Hey, stop that. Mocha, stop it. No. Oh my goodness. Stop that. No. Naughty boy. Oh my gosh. He's doing it. He looks at me and then he just continues on, little rat bag. Okay, there's our cloud. So we're just going to change that around now. We probably won't need much of this. It'll probably be hidden. But I think I only need maybe two lots of this. Okay, and there is our clouds. Okay, stylish shape, oh, not the stylish shape, got that on the brain. Basic border dies, they're brilliant. And I hope they do not discontinue those. <laughs> I won't be happy. All right, so we've got that done. What we're going to do is we're going to pop that in there like that. So I'm going to cut just the top section of the sunflowers. I think I'll just get rid of this big lot and we're just going to cut this out so those of you who don't like fussy cutting just pop it straight on to um, stamp straight onto where the clouds are then you won't have to do this I just prefer doing it this way because I want to put it on dimensionals underneath
Who has the cows? I know Jen's got them. Anyone else got the cows? I'd love to see what you've done with them. Little cuties. I was actually looking at doing the letterbox one tonight, but that'll have to be another day, obviously. So um, I was playing around with that earlier to this week. And I thought, well, I haven't done this on my live yet. Renee, you've got them. Fantastic. What have you done with them? Aren't they adorable? So cute. Glenda, you've got them. Oh, fantastic. I love to see some pics, guys. You haven't played with them yet. Oh, hopefully this might inspire you to play with them. It's a matter of time. There's so many good things in that catalogue. And um, it's hard to choose which one to play with first, isn't it? I mean, I've still got some sets there that I purchased, oh, December, in the pre-order, and I still haven't played with them yet. I've played with, say, 90% of them. So there's a couple there I just haven't done. And um, next week, just letting you know, there will be new online exclusives coming out. That'll be coming the start of March. And there's some amazing things here. There is an awful lot of online exclusives. So I'm sure you have seen a few people um, play with them. One is a coffee set. Uh, I didn't get that one. Um, I've got lots of other amazing things, though. There's... You know, they've got lots of, oh, what have they got? Oh, they've got so much stuff. They've got ribbon, embellishments, embossing folders, and more flowers for those of you who like flowers. There's all sorts of things in there. Even a really cute little fun cart with the kids and, well, the big kid that I, I am. I love it. So there's all sorts of amazing things. Um, that is in there. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to pop this across like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this down. Like that. And I'm just going to see how far up to go. Because I want the cows to be seen as well. So there we go. I thought it'd be only just one. All right, so let's just glue this down. You don't have to have it as big as this. I like to do that simply because it just reinforces the sturdiness. And it's just easy to cut it out that way. Okay. All right, so next we're just going to pop this like that. And then we're just going to put our cows together because I've already coloured them. And um, yeah, okay. All right, I think I might need to go a little bit higher. You're probably not gonna see much of the cloud, but you know what the clouds look like, so we know it's there, so it is what it is. Next time I'll put it up higher. And don't forget everyone, if you comment or share tonight, someone will win this card tomorrow. I will be spinning the wheel again. I sent all the other cards out, uh, so hopefully you've all got them um, for the last month. I hope they've come. If not, they're not far away. I did post them last week, so hopefully you've got them by now. Okay, so we're just going to pop that up there like that. Oh, my. I should have gone higher up in my clouds, but never mind. They're just sort of peaking. There we go. Okay, let's put that aside and we'll put our cows together. I've got all these little bits and pieces here. I had fun today while I was chatting to you, Lucia. <laughs> okay, I've got a little rooster and I've got a little chick and look at these guys. Look at these, we've got cowbells. How cool is that, a cowbell? I reckon that is so cute. All right. We have got three heads and three bodies. 
and I've cut them out. Um, like I said, you've got the punch there for this little guy here. But like I said, I'm, I've already done the homework for you because I wasn't sure how long this would take to put together. All right, we're just going to give them a bit of a zhuzhi. Oh, forgot to do his little horns. I've got a crumb cake here. Oh, might as well just do them. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop a dimensional on the head. I'm debating if I do a big one or a little one. I'll do a big one. And we're just going to sit them up like that. Here. Cute. Now, if you had one of those little bobble thingies, apparently you can get them on Amazon. If you they if you flick the the head or bobble up and down, so they are on Amazon. I was going to get some, but I ran out of time. All right, so we put him here. He looks nice and content. He's asleep, so we put him in there like that, and that one there. They've got personalities, haven't they? Oh, and they're so cute. Okay, this one might have to go be a little one because I didn't leave much space to cut these. So we can make him a little bit sturdy later on. He's sleeping, so... And sitting down, so we've got him in there like that. Okay, so we've done that. Let's do our little cowbells. Now, they are very tiny, so what I'm going to do is a glue dot. Because tonight, with this room so hot, the glue is going to go everywhere. And they're going to be very oozy. So I think a glue dot's the way to go for these tonight. So I'm just going to wrap these up and pop these behind. And let's put our little cowbell on. Oh, cute! He's cute. Okay. Oh, thank you, Anne. I love doing clouds. It's a shame I couldn't. At least they're peeking over the sunflowers, so we got to see some of the little bits of cloud there. Oh, my gosh, he's adorable. I'm just going to have him slide on the side there a little bit. Ha <laughs> ha. They're all got to have cowbells. I just can't resist it. Now you could stamp the cowbells on if you wanted to, but I just wanted to have a little bit of elevation. Where's my other cowbell? I did do three. Maybe we're not gonna, this little guy I don't think is gonna get a cowbell. Oh, you poor thing, he's missing out. No cowbell, I did do three, so I don't know what happened to that one. Never mind, that's okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take him out, because I want this little guy to be sitting down. Uh, he can go in there like that. I wonder if I could have him. Never thought of this. I wonder if you had him. Come on, stick. I wonder if I could have him going out like this. Gosh, I'm all fingers tonight with this heat. I have him like that. There we go. All right. So we've done those. Okay, so I've got grass here. Now this grass came from the Sending Love. This is the mailbox one. Discrimination with those bells, do you reckon? Oh, I did too, Esther. <laughs> I never noticed that. All I know, oh, there you go. I could change him and go and put the bell there. <laughs> Uh, so it's come from here. Now we're going to be doing a live on this at some stage because this is 3D. You can make up your envelope and your letterbox 3D. I use this die here for the grass. So that is where that came from. Okay, um, maybe next week we might do those. We'll see what happens. All right, so let's grab our box and we are going to pop this on top. 
like that. Okay, so I'm just going to use glue here and we'll see how we go with this. If not, I might have to go back to, if I go easy with this glue on this one, we might not have to go back to uh, our other glue. So we're just going to pop grass on. Now I've just made that nine and a half centimetres. We'll see how this goes with the heat. Hey, Barb, how are you? Oh, Barb, she's going to love this. She is going to love these cows. All right, there we go. So we've got one lot of grass in, and that stayed up for me, so that was pretty good. Let's do again. Just don't put too much on, and it won't ooze out. All right, we've got that, and we're just going to pop this on as well how are you going and what are you making I'd love to know what box you're making here we go we're done there's our box so all we're going to do now is do the fun bit that was fun anyway we're going to decorate now so I was thinking about having him on the bottom there because he's sleeping so um, the next is we're just going to pop these guys on there like that maybe I can't have them going that way can I because they've got their backsides to each other so I don't I don't want to do that all right so let's put him on there like that so I'm going to put a glue dot on with these simply because of the heat that's the only reason if not I would normally do our wet glue our Tombow Oh my goodness, that would be so cool. Just kidding, DSP. Oh my gosh. Can you pop that on our page? I would love to see that. That would be so amazing. That is the most cutest DSP. I haven't played with that yet. All right, so we've got him there. And then we might just put him over here a little bit. I'll put him over. I was going to pop a little jerry can over here. Might have to move you over a little bit, mate. Maybe if I can tip you up. You look mischievous to me, so you can go up there like that. There we go. All right. So cute. Yes, in a, can you pop a pick up? Uh, I'd love to see what you've done. I think everyone else would like to see it too. All right, we're just going to pop our girly, girl cow, at the front there like that. Okay, so there's our two cows. And then I was just going to pop him here and then pop, a sentiment here. The sentiment is from Everyday Details. Everyday Detail Dies. So this is the smallest one, this little guy here. So it's made these little fine lines, which I thought was quite cute. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that there like that and then have him somehow like that. And then I've got holy mole, holy cow. I thought that was cute. Holy, I don't know, I cut it out before and I thought, oh, that's so cute. I had to do it. Holy cow, it's your special day. So that sort of works, doesn't it? So let's do that. So I'm just going to stick this one down and then the cow will go on dimensionals. sitting here okay and then I've 
got holy cow. So I'm just going to push him down. Oh, what happened to my holy? Oh, there it is. I've got holy cow, it's your birthday. I, th I just couldn't resist. And I'm usually not into that sort of stuff. <laughs> but I just couldn't resist that. Isn't he cute? I have to. I just have to. Hopefully that will... Okay. So if you'd like to win this card, don't forget to comment or share. All right, there we go. Holy cow, it's your birthday. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. All right, got that. All right, we've got jerry cans here and we've got chooks. So... I was going to put a jerry can behind here on dimensionals at the front of this. Actually, I might put two. I might just put this over here like that and then put two. And he can be sitting behind him. This is my favourite part. This is where I love about boxes. You get to decorate and it's just so much fun. So there we go. Got a little jerry can there. And then we've got our three that I showed you how to do. We're just gonna pop them there like that because look at that. They're so proud of themselves delivering all that milk. So I'm just gonna stick that down. Oh, that's a bit much for tonight. Anyway, we'll see how we go. I'm gonna stick him down. Move him over a little bit. This is what I love about, this is my fun, what I, oh, there's my cow bell. Esther, I found my cow bell. So he can go back on. This is what I love doing is 3D projects. This is my absolute favorite thing. So I've got my little chook. I was going to sit him up there like that, but he's gonna hide my little cow, so we can't do that. So I'll just pop him over here. Actually, we've got this little guy here. I'm just gonna put him, yeah, all right, okay. Well, let's just pop him on. Like that. I'm just going to pop him in the middle. Here there we go. He's at the front of the cow, of the billy. There you go. All right, and then I've got this little chick. And I think he could go on dimensionals. Little chick sitting up there like that. We'll have a little one for him. And then he can go. Got his back to the people, but it doesn't matter. I might need another dimensional underneath there. Ah, oh, thank you, Joan. I've had so much fun doing this. And then we've got a cowbell. So we've got to put him on. See, no, I'm not sexist anymore now, Esther. <laughs> Let's put our cowbell on. And we'll make sure we can see that cowbell on that cow because we're just gonna go and pop that in there like that. Can you see how much fun you can have doing this? These cows are, are just so much fun and so, to, so much fun to play with. They are really cool. All right, there we go. We finished our front, what do you think? Isn't it cool? I'm so wrapped with it. All right. We've got our back section. Oh, my goodness. Look how dirty this is. I should have put this on last. Where is my... I'm just trying to find my glue. Oh, there it is. It'll all come off. It'll be nice and clean again. There we go. And we've got a little jerry can. I'll put that on here. Oh, that's an idea. I might spritz this. I saw these little flicks here and I thought, oh, what a good idea. Let's get our Stampin' Right markers. Let's do a little spritz. All these things I think of at the last minute. There we go. 
And we're going to pop him in there like that. And he's going to, there we go. I've got a chook sitting up. <laughs> oh my God, how can you resist this set? It's so much fun. There you go. That's what I've been doing today, everyone. And Esther, when you rang today, I, at this stage, hadn't decided what I was going to do. <laughs> um, I was busy doing book work and stuff like that. So it was just so much fun to do something like this when you're doing book work, after doing book work. All right, he's going to sit there like that. He should have been over this side, actually, really, shouldn't he? He's got his back to him. There we go, everyone. What do you think? Isn't he cute? <laughs> oh, he's so much fun. There you go. So would you like to try and win this card i'd love to send this off to you all <laughs> there we go i've got two now they're in a different spot these cows he looks cheeky doesn't he <laughs> he's lying down there on he's lying on the job <laughs> oh i love these i'm gonna do more of these guys i just think they're so much fun and they're not much to do um the coloring is no big deal seriously so quick and easy like i wasn't talking for that long with lucia when i was doing these and i had them all done so much fun all right let's just clock you back over <laughs> oh my gosh there we go so the designer series paper is in the celebration so don't miss out on it. You've got one more week to go, everyone, and um, all the freebies are gone for another year. But how can you resist this set? It's so cute. <laughs> I'm a, I don't really want to do the wheel tomorrow. I want to keep them. <laughs> anyway, I've got one, so that's okay. <laughs> anyway, so don't forget, as I said before, comment, share, um, and I am going to pop your names down to spin the wheel tomorrow at 2 o'clock tomorrow. Hopefully it won't be hot tomorrow. Um, that's it from me, I think. Have a think about card and cuppa. Let me know by Monday because I'm going to be cutting over the weekend. And I will hopefully be sending the card and cuppa out on Tuesday. It'll be going express post. That's what I normally do. And so we can all start up again on Monday and Tuesday. So have a think about that. We'd love you to join us. Um, that's about it really from me. Uh, again, if you pop an order in, don't forget, and it's going to be backwards, but you'll see it at the start of the video host code. And, um, yeah, so I can send you a thank you gift. And if it's over 75 crafted collaborations, um, the 50 PFDs. So that's an awful lot. <laughs> and that's it from me, everyone. Thank you so, so much for joining me on this hot night. I hope you all are going really well. Keep cool. And I will see you all next week. Bye.